It's confident computing number 841. Why you're being warned about Windows 10 end of service and what to do about it. Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for askleo.com with this week's video summary of my weekly emailed newsletter, Confident Computing. If you're not getting it in email, newsletter.askleo.com is the place to go to sign up right now. So we are seeing people get warned that Windows 10 is coming to something like end of service. But what does that mean? I remember that when Windows 10 was originally released over five years ago, they said it would be the last version of Windows and that it would work on our machines forever. Well, apparently they've backtracked on at least one of those things. And my article, Why Are You Being Warned About Windows 10 End of Service, goes into the details about exactly how you can avoid that warning, what you need to do if you get it, and just how long Windows 10 will work on your machine. Also this week, it would be nice if we could prevent people from forwarding our messages. And in fact, there are various services that claim to be able to do that. But right up there with copy protection, if it can be seen, it can be copied. And of course, if it can be copied, it can be forwarded. Location permission is something that apps and websites will often ask you for. Why? And should you let them have access to your location? Well, the answer of course is it depends. There are some very valid reasons that you might want to, and there are some very valid reasons where you might not. Do you plan on having your data be available in 20, 30, 50 years? What should you store it on? Well, that's one of those questions that is a really important one to ask and a really important one to understand the ramifications of. I talk about not just what I've done in the past, but what I'm doing now and what some of the options really are. No TEH podcast this week. Gary and I took the week off for the holiday, but I did start a new project. Yep, apparently I don't have enough newsletters. I've actually started to try and force myself to do a better job of reading uh, more substantial things, less trivial things. And as a result, I've started up a new weekly newsletter called Seven Takeaways, where I'm forcing myself to actually collect seven substantial takeaways from the reading material I consume throughout the week. The goal, of course, being to force me to consume something reasonable throughout the week. Anyway, I talk about it in my personal blog, upping my reading game. And of course, you can see the results of this little project and sign up if you want to at 7 it is the end of 2020. This is the last newsletter for 2020. I hope and wish you all very well in the new year, a very happy and prosperous 2021. Until next week, I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Take care.